He told me he was going to kill his wife and doctor. Why don't you tell us where you are? We'll come pick you up. We'll talk. No hassles. Will you listen to me? Tom Wallace is a violent man. Why don't you uh, let us worry about Mr. Wallace? I'm trying to tell you how violent he is. Have you talked to the state hospital? We understand your concern. We're doing the best we can under the circumstances. We put an APB out on him. We'll find him sooner or later. David Barron, male, Caucasian, mid-30s, average height. Now, why don't you tell us about yourself, Lieutenant? Huh? Get it, he's gone. told he's not here. Well, I hope you're telling the truth, because hiding him is the one thing that won't help. <laughs> you with him maybe five minutes, so you know what's best for him, huh? Look, I never had much in life, and I never will. But when Tom's here, it's like what they call an ivory tower. He's gonna be a famous writer someday, and I'm gonna be somebody because I stuck with him. Robert, I'm telling you that he's hallucinating. He thinks that he's Ernest Hemingway, and he told me that he's going to kill his wife and doctor. Look, he's okay. It's just a little off sometimes, that's all. All writers are like that. They don't like me and you. They got big imaginations, you know? They just talk a lot. They won't do anything. It's not just talk, Robert. Damn it, I can't turn him in. He's my friend. Well, if you are his friend, then you will tell the police. Gentlemen. Ramon, good to have you back. The Land Rover's ready and gear's packed. Time to get moving, huh? Come on, we can start the safari. <laughs> 